when texturing a head, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about um, setting it up. If you want to, you could use procedural textures, which are all seamless, and uh, you could go about texturing that way. But if you want to use image maps, uh, you really probably will find yourself using a UV map because a head is organic and it's seamless, okay? And you don't really want to have to go through the hassle of going, okay, this is going to be mapped in the Z, this is going to be mapped in the X, in the Z, and then painting your maps to be seamless. It'd be easier if we could do one image map for the entire head uh, so that we could uh, make sure that it's seamless. So what I thought we could do is take a look at a quick way to get a jump start on UV mapping uh, a head like this. Uh, and um, let's go ahead and just dive right in. So I'm going to um, uh, let's take a look if we just UV map it as is right here. I'm going to change this view to UV. Okay, so we can see the UV map that we're going to create. I'm going to come over to T for UV texture and or textured UV, and then I'm going to go new. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call this head 001 because we're going to make another one. Okay, and for map type, let's choose cylindrical. Uh, for subpatch interpolation, I'm going to choose subpatch. Um, we could keep it linear, but because it's a subpatch object, I'm going to go ahead and have my UV be subpatch. That way, we don't run into the problems where we dr try and like say. Um, uh, put an eyebrow on and it starts getting crooked because uh, we're trying to use a linear um, UV map on a subpatch object. Okay, so for the axis, I'm going to choose Y because I want to go around the head. So the axis is going to run right through the, the head. And uh, we'll go ahead and um, use the just automatic for the settings. We don't need to set manual settings. And let's go ahead and create. Okay, so here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that, yeah, we've got it all laid out flat. We can uh, go in and uh, start painting our, our texture. Uh, I accidentally grabbed the eyes, which, um, which I won't do in the, the next map. We would want to just surface those different. But one thing that I'm seeing is I kind of set myself up for um, uh, difficulty in painting my map or creating my map because the seam is right here. Uh, on the side of the head, which we'll probably see in a three-quarter view or a side view uh, during our animation. Whereas we might not see the back of the head um, as much, uh, especially if we're going to put hair and, and things like that on. Um, so it would be much better if we could put our seam right down the center in the back. And uh, there's an easy way to, to do this, and I thought we could go ahead and uh, take a look. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this. We can have as many UV maps as we want. I'm going to leave this, and then that way we can compare. Uh, so I'm going to just leave this up, and then I'm going to take this head, and I'm going to cut it and paste it into layer 2, separating it from the eyes. We don't need the eyes in, this, uh, in the UV map. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, have this here and then in order to um, get this to work with ease I mean I could set up a more if I could do a couple things I'm just gonna come over in this top window and I'm gonna rotate the head around and center it so now it's facing the positive X I'm gonna come over to T new and we're gonna call this head 002 we'll do a cylindrical map with the subpatch interpolation set the subpatch down the the Y and I'm gonna click create and now our seam is on the back of the head which is much nicer to work with uh, if we go to this one well again our seams in a place that it, you could make it work uh, I think it's a lot of work um, whereas this is much easier now we're not quite done uh, creating the you know finishing the UV map we need to uh, do some adjustments and um, so you're gonna want to spend the time editing the uh, I'm gonna grab these points which are overlapping and I'm gonna edit that you're gonna wanna go in and adjust around the ears depending on how much detail you want you could probably get away with what's there but I'm not a big fan of having overlapping geometry in my UV map so you're gonna wanna go in and make some adjustments but for a quick start on UV mapping ahead uh, this little um, rotate uh, trick 
really does help get you there pretty fast and now here's the beauty UV map doesn't matter what you do with the object the UV map is going to stay the same so once you've done this all you have to do is come over here and hit R for rotate I'm going to go ahead and center it again and I'm back to where I started before uh, I did my rotate and set up my UV map. So this is just a real quick look at um, laying out a UV map for a face, uh, for a head, uh, where you want to control where the seam is. Okay, So you can rotate it. If you wanted the seam somewhere else, you just rotate the head uh, slightly different. But I think this is a good place for the seam. So just um, always rotate the head facing down the positive X. Um, when you're laying out your UV map and then you can always have it facing and actually if I was going to set this up for rigging I would rotate it facing the positive Z but see it's not affecting my UV maps that's just the placement on the UV grid uh, so it doesn't really matter what I do in the other viewports so again quick look at setting up a uh, starting a UV map for a head